all sorts of jihadism has been encouraged by every Ukrainian government since 1991. This started in the 90s with the Chechens. They were supporting Basayev's people in Chechnya since the 1990s. And after Maidan in 2014, they expanded their range and said, okay, any jihad that we can get in touch with and instrumentalize against Russia, we're going to use them. And that points, for instance, to Chechens who were in Syria and are now in uh, the Ukrainian-Russian border. For instance, one of the key possible organizers of the whole, I, I, I would say the uh, uh, shadow organizers of the whole plot, is a Chechen who was in Idlib, who was connected co with different jihadi groups, and then he had a fallout with uh, Jabhat al-Nusra, which was known in the past as uh, Al-Qaeda in Syria. He had to flee Idlib. Guess where he shows up? Ukraine. And we even have photos of him at the border near Belgorod when uh, this, uh, let's say, <laughs> foreign legion of uh, so-called Russian libertarians or Russian anarchists or anti-state or whatever, patriots, not patriots, were, were, were attacking Russia. So, so all these connections are, I, I, I think we cannot even imagine how complicated it is for the FSP in a matter of, four, three, four, five days to put it all together.